the site or talk of cultural appropriation is nothing new. We've all seen it from rock to pop to whatever this is, all the way to dudes with the samurai sword collections in their basement. But I feel there's one aspect of culture too sacred to touch. I'm talking ancestors. So many older and cooler cultures have a long history of honoring their ancestors from the beautifully haunting ghost festival to the day of the dead. But oh no, you know what we got instead? Ghosts. And man, we hit that haunt hard from wiping people out of their home and native land to taking people from their home and native land. We are a fucking haunted people and the haunts are here to stay. Every nightmarish haunting house story or movie is always the same. It's about some lighter shade of pale floater, either in their jam jams or dressed like they're about to get married for some reason, roaming around some old hallways of dark oak, looking like they're creeping for that midnight snack of cereal. But here's the thing, where's the proof? A lot of people just can't stop believing, but where is that proof at? We all got HD cameras in our pockets now, and yet no uptick in ghost footage. I've seen a tiny monkey cruise up on a miniature motorcycle, grab a baby and drag him off, yet no uptick in ghost footage. And where are my UFO sighters at? You ain't getting off so easily either in this rant nor sexually, I'm assuming. Now let me make this clear. Just because you don't have an understanding of what you saw in the sky one time, it doesn't make it aliens. Our ignorance of a question doesn't make the answer science fiction. I tried watching that famous Area 51 documentary where the guy supposedly worked on alien tech and like my most shared intimate moments, I couldn't get past the first 15 minutes. And maybe here's why, if you're gonna cast someone to narrate it to convince the mass public of a huge government conspiracy, don't cast this guy, I mean Mickey Rourke, what was Gary Busey too busy yelling at the ocean? We had somewhat famous footage of UFOs surface last year. It was those dark gray spots on a dark gray background. And man, the targeting system on the Millennium Falcon was more clear. And the pilots yelling that they don't know what it is means exactly that. They're pilots, they have no PhD in any kind of science. They fly planes, which is super cool, but they have no background in science, either fiction or non. Being a top gun doesn't make them the sharpest tool on the beach volleyball court. And the last story that came out is this giant floating space turd, they said might be some new alien tech, which maybe now shows us why they're so interested in the probing. Follow science people, be the agent Scully to the Mopey Mulder. But I get it. I want to believe, sure. I want to believe that there's a better tomorrow. I want to believe that there's a smarter culture out there from the cosmos with some sort of handbook of instructions that will help us steer us out of this hellish landscape that we've made by us, for us. But I have a feeling that just like those dudes with the samurai swords, they ain't coming. Stars hold no salvation. The heavens offer no help. We aren't going to get a sci-fi parachute to help us from our self-induced freefall. We already jumped out of a perfectly good airplane, to quote Mr. Patrick Swayze. And yeah, that's a double Swayze movie reference in one sentence. D -d 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 double Swayze. We'll see you next time.